Since associative arrays group all the elements together into one cohesive array, you're now going to lose the functionality that you may have enjoyed in the past where you could modify, say, just one shrub or move that over just a little bit to deviate from the ordinary pattern that the array would suggest. Well, the associative array has no way to know that. It follows rules, so it's placing that shrub right where it should go. In order to get around this behavior, you can use what is called control pick editing, and that will allow you to actually manually override the placement of this one object within the associative array. So it's very simple. You just hold down the control key and then pick the object which you'd like to deviate from the ordinary rules. You simply then indicate whatever kind of movement you'd like, and that one particular object within the array will now deviate from the rules. Now, for some reason, you'd like to go back and relocate that object at a later time. Of course, you could undo right now, but at some later date, what you could do is simply invoke double-click editing, which would put the entire associative array into editing mode. And now what you could do is reset the array here from the ribbon, which would force every object within the associative array to go back to its computed default placement within the array, simply like this. So very easy to override the placement of an object within an associative array using control pick editing. And then you can always reset the array later using double click editing functionality from the ribbon.